So now I've told it to stay where you are. I'm going to save my document. And now I'm going to replace this with a new image. In this icon on the lower right corner, if I click on it, it opens up a window for me to navigate to another image. It is actually looking at the Photos app when you click on that little icon. And I have absolutely no photos in my Photos app. But I do have shared images on my iCloud. So if I click on Shared, and if I want to be specific, I have like 30 different albums that I share on iCloud Drive. So for this image, you will be this one. Double click, and it adds it in. And if I need it to adjust it, I can double click and move it around or change the outside cropping. And let's do that. Let's make it as large as it can be. Oops, too large, undo. All right, so now I'm done. And we're gonna leave the rest for later. Okay, so now let's go here. Now this image, I do want to flow with text. So I'm going to resize it first. and then drag it over to the right of my screen. If you look on, again on the interface on the right-hand side, I'm going to click on Move with Text, and I can also tell it how I want the text to wrap around this image. I can select five different settings, automatic, around, above and below, inline, and none. At this point, automatic and around can possibly do the same thing, but I'm going to select around so that the text now flows around the image. And if you look closely, do you see that, that anchor icon in the second line near the right-hand side? Okay, squint, you see it? Let me move this around a little bit. You see how it's moving? So depending on how the image is placed, that anchor moves. So when you are adding text, it's important where that anchor is. Okay, so to show you that, let's do this. I'm going to take this paragraph right here, copy it, cut it, and I'm gonna put that paragraph about uh, right here. And when I paste, see how the image moved down? because the image is flowing with that anchor point. That anchor point moved, and so did the image. So let's put that back up. All right, and save. So you can tell an image to remain stationary, or you can tell it to move with text. Not yet. This one. So we've added images by the, re the Replace button, the iCloud Drive sharing, or iCloud Photos sharing, you can also just drag an image from the finder. So let's go there. And let's navigate to my images and see which one, and probably you. So I can just drag it into from the finder. And let's make that a little larger. All right. So lots of different ways to get your images in two pages. All right, let's go to the next chapter. And let's see, I got an extra page here. So let's view, show invisibles. There's my page break. I'm going to delete that page break. There you go. So now everything's back where it's supposed to be. Let's go back to view, hide invisibles. And now chapter two. In chapter two, all right, let's go here, image replace, and let's add a, another image. One, two, three, four, that's just the one I want. All right, so open. Okay, so something still changed. So I have something that's still jumping around here. So let's, all right, just move it. Okay, so as you see, 
you're going to have challenges working and they're pretty easy to solve. Just move things around or delete. All right, so breathtaking scenic views. And on this page, I want it to add a movie file. 